Subscribe to smartphone tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. Hey guys, welcome to another video. This is your friend Kailash here with another install and preview for the Pocophone F1. I'm really praying this is the last video in the install and preview series because I have at least, at least at a minimum 10 ROMs to review and one ROM review takes a lot of time because I believe in covering everything from the time I install the ROM to how the charging is to how the battery backup is. So stay tuned for that. The full review ROM series will be amazing. Now before we do that, today's video is about Wiper OS. We are going to install it and have a first look for that on the Pocophone F1 and before we do that we are closing into 10,000 subscribers so in the description there is a link for the giveaway which will give you a chance to win a Zenfone M2 now if you haven't already please participate and stand a chance to win that phone and if you've not subscribed please subscribe like share and do whatever you can to support this channel because it's really exciting at the same time here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos 390 go ahead and check that channel out as well now without further Further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials, let's install Wiper OS on the Pocophone F1. welcome to another video and it's another install and preview and the ROMs just keep coming for this wonderful device as I have been saying again and again but don't worry you guys will not get bored and bombarded with just installs and previews there are a few select custom ROMs which I have really really liked and I will be taking your opinion on that as well using the community poll so do go ahead and participate there a lot of questions will be asked and based on your feedback is what I'll be making the content for the Xiaomi Pocophone F1 but but coming back to today's video, well, the reason you see dot .OS on the screen is because it was one of the previous videos that I have shot. But now we are going to install Wiper OS and before we install any particular ROM, it is my duty to tell you about the preparations that you need to make on your phone to ensure it is ready to be flashed. So first things first, you need to have a unlocked bootloader and a custom recovery TWRP installed. The files for the ROM and GApps should be copied in your phone's memory or the SD card whatever works for you at the same time a very very important thing backup 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 all your data because nobody would be responsible if you lose your important pictures and stuff like that so once you've done all that the last thing to ensure is that you have at least 50% battery or 30% battery to ensure you have a successful flash now considering that you're smart enough and you've done everything to take care of your data and all the other things we can go ahead and boot up into TW WRP. Now in order to boot to TWRP, press and hold volume up and power and it would boot into TWRP. So the moment you see the POCO logo, you can go ahead and release that button. Alright, looks like we're good to go. So first things first, we go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik cache system data. Don't wipe internal storage or SD card. That's where all your files are. Now go to install, select wiper OS, add more zips, select Open G apps and swipe to confirm flash. Now this flash, as I say always, will take anywhere between two to five minutes because we are flashing two different files over here. So please be very, very patient while you do that. Okay, as you can see, the ROM has been flashed and everything is good to go. So wipe, cache in Dalvik, reboot system. And the first boot will take anywhere between two to three minutes. It's, it's a very fast phone, so it won't take a very long time for the first boot to complete. Let's have a look at the boot animation for Viper OS. As expected, you have a Viper on the screen and it's a very, very simplistic boot animation, which I think is good enough. It's not bad. You don't need to have a very, very flashy boot animation every time. Let's wait for the ROM to boot up and let's have a quick look at the features. Okay, as you can see, we are on the home screen of Viper OS and something that I really, really like is a blacked out wallpaper and a blacked out user interface. Although this phone doesn't have an AMOLED display, but black user interfaces look really, really slick and look really, really good, at least for me. And this, this, this particular phone has a very good display 
display panel so that makes it look even better so yes everything is blacked out and i really really like that and the settings menu as well it's also very very bland and plain which i think is good enough it's not a bad thing by any ways and uh, it's a blue and black combination and you have all the usual stuff basically all the usual android pie guidelines being followed if we have a look at the camera it's a basic camera that comes in all the custom roms it's not a g cam like how we have it in dot os but yes it's pretty good it does the basic job of clicking pictures and stuff now talking about other things let's quickly check if voice over lte is working now it's uh it's a stable update so yep so voice over lte works camera works have not experienced any force closes so far so that's a good start for any rom next thing that we check is uh, the customization and in this rom it is known as venom and another thing that i like about this rom is just like dot os it has a very very well laid out customization menu and i believe they take it a next they take it to a next level because then you have sections over here and then at the bottom we have subsections so what do we have at the bottom we have status bar recents lock screen system and then we have about and over here we have each and everything that you can customize and trust me guys this is what i like about custom roms i don't know about others but people who are not using custom roms um if you don't have the time and you don't want to mess with your phone that's a different thing but you are missing out on a lot of potential your phone can uncover so lock screen you have lock screen customization you have system customization you have font picker and stuff like that and you already have a lot of fonts like a samsung one ui font there you have it and it is that quick to apply if we go to about you have the names and photos of all the developers and pictures of all the developers with a logo and stuff and overall it's not a rapid fast ui uh, transition that you have it's a very very smooth and subtle ui transition so you know i give it a lot on customization and uh, let me also tell you before we wrap this particular video up we are coming up with a point review system basically we are going to rate each and every rom when we review it that is going to be a lot of work but that will give you a lot of clear picture as well so yes that is going to be very very exciting but for now this was the quick first look and install and preview at viper os and in my knowledge it looks to be a very very solid and stable rom if you want to try it well to me from the initial impressions it looks daily driver ready so all in all it looks to be a very very stable and uh, good rom so for now this is the first look at viper OS for the Pocophone F1. Until the next one, keep smiling, stay subscribed and take care. This is Kailash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Goodbye.